Combined preparations containing an oestrogen and a progestogen are taken in constant proportions, usually for 21 days, followed by an interval without medication, during which uterine bleeding occurs. The most common regime is to use a 21-day preparation, followed by an interval of seven days, either with no tablets or placebo or arm tablets. Combined preparations act by a reduction in the output of pituitary gonadotropin, which leads to inhibition of ovulation. They may also have a direct effect on the reproductive tract. Sequential preparations consist of a tablet containing oestrogen alone, taken for 14 to 16 days, followed by a combined tablet containing oestrogen and progestogen, which is taken for five to seven days, followed by an interval without medication. The daily use of 0.5 milligrams or less of one of a variety of progestogens can regulate fertility without necessarily preventing ovulation. The noted anti-fertility effect of these so-called mini-pills may involve sperm capacitation or an effect on the cervical mucus, endometrium, or tubal fascia. Progestogens can also be administered by injections whose effect usually lasts three months, or by implanting silastic capsules containing the hormone. They frequently cause menstrual irregularities and are not available in all countries. Since the menstrual cycle becomes governed by the exogenous dose, women develop very regular cycles while taking oral contraceptives. Even patients whose cycles were irregular settled down to a rhythm of 26 to 28 days. Bleeding which occurs before all the tablets have been taken is called breakthrough bleeding. Sometimes this can be very light and is known as spotting. If breakthrough bleeding or troublesome spotting occurs for the first four or more cycles, it's unlikely that it will settle spontaneously without a change of tablet. If, however, breakthrough bleeding persists, a thorough clinical study of the cause of bleeding should be made, including a diagnostic smear. Studies of side effects ascribed to oral contraceptives are difficult because control groups are not easily obtained. Certain side effects are more common in the first cycle and tend to disappear spontaneously with use. Some side effects are beneficial. The menstruation usually becomes very regular and predictable. It may be quite light and is normally painless. Oral contraceptives can relieve premenstrual tension, and many women experience a feeling of well-being and relief from fear of pregnancy. Nutritional anemia is likely to improve in women using oral contraceptives because of the reduction in menstrual loss. Changes in skin condition can include an improvement in acne. Minor adverse side effects include nausea and possible vomiting. Some women suffer from breast discomfort. Breakthrough bleeding can occur. Weight increase is frequently reported, although variations in weight increase using the same compound suggest that this side effect may have a psychological as well as a physiological basis. Depression and loss of libido are difficult to measure, but they appear to be genuine side effects in some women. Other minor side effects reported are dryness of the vagina leading to coital discomfort, headaches, aching legs, and mucorrhea or vaginal discharge.